You can never have enough vision in an MX goggle. Traditional goggles have a very limited field of vision. Everyone's worked with the same material, literally for 40 years. You can't get that vision out of a Lexan lens with a standard nylon frame. It's just impossible. The primary goal of the Airbrake MX was to get superior optics, just as we do with our eyewear. The thing that's cool about the Airbrake MX goggles is that the lens is made out of plutonite. The lens is also optically correct, which is better vision. It's very important. And the focus has to be there because things are coming at you faster and we're going higher speeds. We created arcs that match up against the face that give you a great field of view and still fit within the helmet well. The nose piece right here, it's down farther. That gear right there gives you a lot more vision. The riders are in that down position and they need that high vertical field of view. That tends to put a lot of pressure on the nose because of the helmet, so we totally redesigned the nose from our prior MX goggles. I'm not alone when I say when I first put the goggle on and used it. Although it was better, it was different. I can't believe how much better I can see. Peripheral vision is unbelievable. It's like everything is in HD. You see it in a whole different way, and the more you see, the faster you can go. You have so much vision in it, and I think it took me a little bit to get used to it because I was seeing things that I never saw before, and obviously, that's a good thing around a motorcycle. You want to see as much as you can. You kind of get a sense of what's going on before it actually happens. I think that people take for granted what good vision really does for you. If you can see better, I think you can ride faster. When you see what these goggles will do, your confidence level goes up. We all know that the byproduct of confidence, performance usually increases at the same level, if not more. As a rider, we're always trying to switch stuff up, making sure things are constantly working. And the Airbrake MX goggle definitely allows us to adapt to, to all those conditions. Before, it was changing lenses, get, get screwdriver out, all kinds of different things. And now it's easy to do one goggle. To have a modular system, it's very ingenious. There's so much time and thought put into this. You got so many options, so many different things you can change out from the outriggers, the lenses, you can swap out the face foam just as easily. And if I had new face foam, the goggles are gonna feel brand new to me. You can take the chassis, configure it to a tear-off goggle and get the most field of view, or in certain conditions, transform the goggle into a roll-off system. It's built from the foundation up to work that way. It's a minimalistic, simple, clean design with a whole lot of function. There's so many cool technology features about this as far the different things that you can change as a rider, the comfort of the goggle, just how much it's user friendly. If you're a serious motocross racer, air brakes is the goggle you want to have. Current goggles now on the market, the lenses are Lexan. This goggle has a plutonite lens, it's a hard lens, so when rocks, dirt flying at me, I feel comfortable, I feel safe. When you're doing something as violent as motocross, I mean, these motorcycles put out so much more power. And with the torque and the traction and the suspension, they're throwing a tremendous amount of roost at 60 miles an hour while you're going 60 miles an hour. We recognize that there's really a need for a higher impact protection. We took the same formula that we use for eyewear and incorporated it into goggles. Plutonite lens, it's much harder. I mean, you guys can hear that. As far as impact protection goes, we've got our premium optics. We've got the thicker materials, high mass, high velocity impact protection. The benefits are enormous. Nothing's gonna pop the lens out or penetrate the lens. So as a rider, I'm not worried about, are my goggles gonna fail? With the elevated impact resistance, we really tried to mimic the impact off of the forefoot. So what we ended up doing is backing a bike up to a head form, putting a goggle on it, and doing a bunch of starts. We burned through a few tires and couldn't destroy a lens, couldn't destroy a goggle. And we had no real damage. The lens being securely tight in there, it's able to take that force of a rock and not pop your lens out. You only have one set of eyes. Protection is key. It makes your job easy when you know that that piece of equipment's not going to fail on you. 